Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. So today we have a new custom ROM for our Redmi Note 8 and this time we have Hyper West based on Android 14. Many of you actually asking me to review the Hyper West for Redmi Note 8 and also for Redmi Note 6 Pro but I could not able to find any kind of Hyper West build for Redmi Note 6 Pro but I did get a build for Redmi Note 8 right now and I have been using this ROM for a week now. So I'm going to talk about if this ROM is good for daily drive or not. As you know, the, the Hyperverse builds are not really that great for low-end devices like older devices because they are not really capable of rendering those animation and other things. But there are many cool things available on this ROM which I'm going to talk about and show you. There are few bugs and those are major bugs. Uh, I will be talking about those two. And one of them you can see that the, the, the ROM takes a long time to boot so now it's taking a lot actually so let's wait uh, let the ROM boot so the ROM is now booting it took about one and a half minutes which is really really bad because almost all the ROMs can boot in 30 seconds but this one takes a lot so as you can see Xiaomi Hyperverse. So this build was created by from some of Indonesian people as you can see me Indonesian team. So they built this ROM. So the ROM is booted up and first of all let's unlock the device and show you the Android version and security patch level. So okay. Okay now just go to the setting. My device so I have already turned off the animation from this ROM because if you turn on the animation it will be very slow so as you can see here all the information with me note 8 4000 ms and the CPU Snapdragon is an old one so 4GB RAM IPS and everything so if I go to detail information and specs so it's running on Android 14 so as you can see 14 and security patch level is from 1st of May so as you can see here now Android version so Android 14 as you can see this one is proper Android 14 not like theme or anything like that it's running on Android 14 so as you know about the Xiaomi ROMs so they are all quite similar to MIUI so Hyperverse did include some features so like interconnectivity I don't really know this interconnectivity works or not because I don't really have any kind of tablet or anything like that so I don't have any idea but in terms of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other things, those are working and we do have Hyperverse control panel here. So I did put my SIM card here and I did try out phone call and other things. Those worked perfectly fine. Now, as you can see here, the performance is not really that great. Uh, it's not really that smooth. Like if you have installed like Evolution X or used others ROM, you're going to feel like very laggy ROM. But if you used MIUI, maybe you're not going to feel that. But anyway, the ROM is really, really laggy. Going to wallpaper and personalization, we do have all kind of things here. Everything does work perfectly fine in this menu. So we do have AOD and AOD works perfectly fine. So if I turn on AOD, as you can see, AOD is working. Yeah, it does look good actually, but not really good for your battery. Let me turn it off i don't really want aod even i don't really use aod on my s22 i i turned it off always no need so icon fonts and effects all those things here and also you can download themes if you want this one ported from a chinese bit so you will see a few chinese language here and there but anyway all those things are working in the locker screen section we do have all the things like um Charging animation, if you put it in charging, charging animation is pretty laggy and if you like connect any kind of charger it will so like it is charging first. Like if I connect my uh, charger directly from my PC right now, it will show that it, it, it is charging fast but actually it cannot deliver fast charging. Let me, let me connect charger. So as you can see here the first charging logo. And the charging logo, let me show you. It is pretty laggy. The charging logo is also laggy. Let me show you. So as you can see here, it is struggling. As you can see, the animation is pretty choppy. So these are the things you have to 
cope with mm -hmm. and also you can change the animation here and we do have other things going back we have notification status bar we have home screen here so there are a few things and there is actually a bolt too i have turned off that and few other things you can like tweak there are some features here and there you you want you can go through those things and sound and vibration those are working perfectly fine no issue everything works in terms of fingerprint and face unlock both of them are by them and both of them works perfectly fine and they are pretty fast actually uh, even faster than evolution x i would say i don't really know how but they works perfectly fine face unlock also works perfectly fine even in low light also it does manage to unlock the device so pretty good in terms of face unlock and fingerprint and we also have safety measure and other things here application part you know, all those things there and in terms of battery the battery is doing pretty well miui is actually well known for their battery backup so it is pretty good in this room too in the additional setting we do have other things here and i did unlock the developer mode here so there are few bugs here and there you will see uh, one of the noticeable bugs is it is pretty laggy as you can see here uh, it is pretty choppy and i did turn off animation if you turn on animation you will feel this rom is not running like so that is pretty bad thing i would say and other things like uh, if you transfer your data from phone to computer you might find some issue with like uh, transferring data sometime if you connect the cable it will not show up as connected cable it will charge but it will not show that that it's connected as a usb device so that's a issue with this rom and other issues like uh, in the camera the camera does work but the quality is not really that great even if you use gcam the quality will not be that good so the camera works perfectly fine though and 48 megapixel doesn't work i did take pictures with 48 megapixel doesn't work so the camera performance is really bad on this rom if you use phones for taking pictures and recording videos don't go with this rom because even if you use gcam you're going to get really bad camera quality from here other things like one of the positive things of this rom now is that the gaming performance is really good it is pretty much very similar to other custom rom like evolution x and drip fist and sierra road rom so i did install call of duty which i use so pretty much very similar to what you will get with evolution x and other roms i'm not going to play games here but uh, the gaming performance is really good here it's really very similar to uh, other roms and one more thing about this rom if you install this rom you can't really use bank apps because safety net is failed even i did test it before installing magisk and safety net is failed so not really for that other than that the rom does work perfectly fine you will going to see some force close issue and sometimes the locker skin issue and other things but the rom works perfectly fine no issue so few issues that i have mentioned usb debugging issue and camera issue and also like the animation and other things are pretty choppy and also you cannot use bank application here so these are the few issues and one more issue i have noticed on this rom is that uh, when i was trying to install this rom usually what i do i install rom in adv site load method but in this case when i was trying to site load the rom it did not work i had to copy the rom directly to the phone and install it directly from twrp and it did work at the time so if you are going to install this rom be mindful about that and the rom link will be in the description below if you want to try it you can try it that's all about hyperverse for redmi note 8 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one